Today we're going to focus on connecting a DSL modem to a wireless router. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure your DSL modem is up and running. This is a broad scent DSL modem. Um, they do, you know, the, the number of indicator lights on the unit is going to vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. However, most will have a, at least a power light and a status light showing whether or not the connection is running. Um, make sure that it's hooked up and that you show that, you're, that the DSL has got a connection. Once that's established, what you'll need to do is take an Ethernet cable. First, plug it into the Ethernet port on the back of the DSL modem, like so. Once that's done, take your router, find the port on it labeled Internet, although if you have an older router, it might just be a separate connector that's kind of walled off from the others it will look distinct when you see it. This one's labeled. Most modern ones recently manufactured are labeled internet. And then connect it this way. Once it's connected, give the unit a moment to make sure that the, uh, make, give the router a moment to make sure that it's established a connection and that it can read the signals coming from the DSL modem. Once that's there, you'll need to go into your router's configuration utilities and make sure it's set up according to your ISP's settings. Uh, depending on who your service provider is, you might have to there you, know, you might have to set up a static IP. You might just have to configure a couple of very basic settings. You may also have to make sure that the router is set to allow certain types of transmissions through. Your your internet service provider will provide you with those instructions.